Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice square root math problem, which is the square root of 100 divided by 10 minus square root of 99. So let's provide a solution from here. Now, we have the square root of 100 divided by 10 subtract square root of 99. Now, the first step to do here is to introduce a conjugate, that is to rationalize the denominator by introducing a conjugate, which is 10 plus square root of 99. We also multiply this conjugate with the numerator here. So we have 100 times 10 plus square root of 99. The next step is that we have again here the square root of 100 multiplying by 10 plus square root of 99 divided by now in the denominator here we have that 10 minus square root of 99 this is in the form of a minus b multiplying by a plus b which we can express as a squared minus b squared now Applying this difference of two perfect squares property here, then this means that here in the denominator we have 10 squared minus square root of 99 raised to the power of 2. And this implies that here we have the square root of 100 multiplied by 10 plus square root of 99 cross the parentheses, everything here divided by 10 squared, which is 100, subtract square root of 99, raised to the power of 2, this means we can eliminate the square root side, so we have 100 minus 99. So that now, here we have the square root of 100 multiplied by 10 plus square root of 99, divided by 100 minus 99, which is equal to 1. Now, the next step here is that we have now the square root of 100 multiplied by 10 plus square root of 99. Now, we have that the square root of 100 times 10 plus square root of 99 this is in the form of square root of a times b, which we can express as square root of a multiplied by square root of b. Now applying this property, applying this property, now applying this property, then here we have, this is the square root of 100 multiplied by square root of 10 plus square root of 99 we have that the square root of 100 this is 10 multiplied by square root of 10 plus square root of 99 now we have that here this is 10 multiplied by square root of no 10 plus square root of 99 we have that 1 is common here so we can factor out 1 so that we have 1 into the parentheses. This is 10 plus the square root of 99. The next step is that we can express this 1 as 2 over 2. Let's substitute 2 over 2 here. So that now we have 10 multiplied by square root of... This is 2 over 2 multiplied by 10 plus square root of 99. And this implies that here we have 10 multiplied by square root of, in the numerator here we have 2 times 10 plus square root of 99, then divided by 2. So let's open the parentheses here. Let's open the parentheses in the numerator here. This is 2 times 10, which is 20, plus 2 multiplied by square root of 99. Now this is divided by 2. 
The next step is that we have 10 multiplying by square root of 20 plus 2 multiplying by. Now we can express the square root of 99. This is the same thing as the square root of 9 times 11. Everything here divided by 2. We can express the square root of 9 times 11. Remember this is in the form of square root of a times b which can be expressed as the square root of a times the square root of b. So here we have 10 multiplied by square root of 20 plus 2 multiplied by square root of 9 multiplied by square root of 11 everything here divided by 2. The next step is that we have 10 multiplying by square root of now 20 can be expressed as 9 plus 11 then plus 2 multiplying by square root of 9 this is 3 multiplying by square root of 11 everything here divided by 2 now this is the same thing as 10 multiplying by square root of we can express 9 as 3 to the power of 2 then plus now 11 is in the form of square root of a raised to the power of 2 this is the same thing as a so we can express 11 as the square root of 11 to the power of 2 this is the same thing as 11 so instead of writing 11 we can write 11 as the square root of 11 to the power of 2 so we have the square root of 11 this to the power of 2 then plus 2 times 3 multiplied by square root of 11 here everything here divided by 2 now the next step is that we have this is 10 times 3 squared plus square root of 11 to the power of 2 plus 2 times 3 times square root of 11 this is in the form of a squared plus b to the power of 2 plus 2 times a b which we can express as a plus b everything here raised to the power of 2 let's use this algebraic identity so that now here we have 10 multiplied by the square root of in the numerator we have 3 plus square root of 11 everything here raised to the power of 2 divided by 2 Now we have that the square root of 3 plus square root of 11 to the power of 2 divided by 2. This is in the form of square root of a over b, which we can express as the square root of a divided by square root of b. Applying this property, this implies that here we have 10 multiplied by square root of 3 plus square root of 11 raised to the power of 2 then divided by square root of 2 so this implies we can simplify here so that now we have 10 multiplied by 3 plus square root of 11 everything here divided by square root of 2 now, the next step is to rationalize the denominator here. Let's multiply by square root of 2 here. And also the numerator, we multiply by square root of 2. So we have 10 multiplied by square root of 2 into the parentheses. This is 3 plus square root of 11. Everything here divided by square root of 2 times square root of 2. This is 2. So that we simplify here, 10 divided by 2. This is 5. So here we have 5 square root of 2 into the parentheses. This is 3 plus square root of 11. Now, so here we have 5 square root of 2 into the parentheses. 3 plus square root of 11. So this implies that 5 square root of 2 times 3. This is 15 square root of 2. Then plus 5 square root of 2 times square root of 11. 
Remember this is in the form of square root of a times the square root of b, which we can express as the square root of a times b. So here we'll have 5 square root of 2 times 11. And this is the same thing as 15 square root of 2 plus 5 square root of 2 times 11, which is 22. And this is the solution to this radical math problem. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Have a good day.